Hello there! There's a line in our gospel today that says, The disciples were overwhelmed with grief. Jesus, whom they were following, Jesus, whom they knew had power and authority, and Jesus, the reason why they left their livelihoods, families, and home, reiterates his mission that he will be handed over to men and will be killed. The apostles must have been scratching their heads and saying, And so, why am I following this man again? Friends, our gospel today speaks about a very countercultural view of what power and authority mean. The tax collectors were inquiring if Jesus is to pay the temple tax, and what a question to ask if we think of Jesus' mission as far, far beyond the intentions and interests of this world. And yet, quite interestingly in the story, so as not to offend the tax collectors, Jesus decides nevertheless to hand over to them the tax that they required. And of course, not without revealing to the apostles that money, well, money you can find anywhere and everywhere, even from the mouth of a fish. Jesus impresses upon us today that there must indeed be something more important than money treasures, and other worldly things to which we often tend to get too attached. The apostles were initially overwhelmed with grief, perhaps because their vision of authority and power gets spoiled by Jesus' less worldly example of leadership. The apostles were witnesses to the powerful miracles of Jesus. They knew that Jesus had authority, and yet here is a man whom they observed was careful not to offend others, and one they knew who was willing to hand himself over even to his enemies. So friends, why are we following Jesus again? We do, I hope, because he gives us a vision of power and authority that does not rely on the allurements of this world, but rather on our capacities to give, even to the point of being self-sacrificing such that the real power of the Father may be made more manifest in the examples and lives that we live. And that's one bite.